Welcome back to the Hard for Games channel, everybody. We are your hosts, I'm Tony. I'm John. And today we are taking a look at a long lost Game Jam competition cartridge. I had no idea that there were Game Jams in 2004. Yes. When you mentioned Game Jam competition card, I thought you meant like, oh, 2016 or something yes. like that. And be like, oh, that'll be really cool. Sure. Because, uh, you know, it's, that was uh, kind of hot right then. And instead it's like, no, it's 2004. Yeah. And the GBA was what, like 01? Yeah. Yeah, so that's- So it was concurrent with the GBA. Hot. Yeah. yeah. For, it was the a game Switch jam. Switch has been out <laughs> longer at the time of this video's recording than the GBA was when this came out. Exactly. Like that's hot. Which is fascinating because they didn't have the tools that they would have now yeah. for starters. And the fact that they actually got people to create these games, yeah. took the top 10 and produced a physical cartridge back yeah. in 2004 was kind of impressive. Honestly, yeah. kind of surprising that this actually and happened. And that um, Nintendo did not kill all of them. <laughs> Just go to their houses <laughs> and murder them one by one. In the yes. middle of the sleep. But yes, it comes with an instruction booklet with instructions for each of the 10 games that are included. There were more games made, but the top 10 were included on the actual physical cartridge, which we will be reviewing, reviewing them one by one today. This was set up by GBADev.org, which apparently is still an active website. Yes. We will have to let them know we actually covered this. By the way, don't ever look at your website and say, this looks dated. I, I love how it looks. It doesn't have a whole bunch of weird bloated crap on it. Keep it the way it is, I love it. Loves me Angel Fire he GeoCities. Oh no, no, the, the best is, uh, Best Electronics CA. Oh. The Atari guy who bought out all of Atari's old stuff yeah. and resells it on a website that looks like the owner would be shocked to find out that Bill Clinton won the election. That is fantastic. It's amazing. So. <laughs> just, just have it scroll by right here. It is a feast for the eyes. Feast for the eyes. I am sorry for everybody who's looking at it. It's like 16 color. So let's go ahead and dive into this fascinating little piece of lost history that nobody seems to talk about. This has a wonderfully designed menu. Yeah, I really like how the menu looks. Hey, wait, Sonichu. Simon Chu. Oh, this, this should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with if, Banked. If we, if we play that, is the dimensional merge going uh, to happen? I hope not. We'll see what happens. All right, we're going to start off with Banked, Swinger of Long Arm. Yeah, the soundtrack is really good. I also I like the way that this controls. It takes a tiny bit of getting used to, but not too much. Yeah, yeah, this is like, this is definitely, it's got some game jam wonkiness to it, mm -hmm. but you know what? This works. Yeah. There's a, there's a good game to be had in here. I do like the way he moves. Yeah, there's a little bit of momentum to it, but not in like a weird negative way. Wall jump actually feels pretty solid. Yeah, so there's not a ton going on in terms of scrolling in the background, but there's some foreground stuff going on in this level, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, nice, John. Yeah, there's like a rhythm to it. So overall, this game has a lot of polish, especially in gameplay. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really fun. Uh, once you get it down, it's got like a real nice fluid feel. I could see speedrunners really liking this. This feels like one of those games where I'm like, how the hell has nobody talked about this? This is yeah, awesome. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Like, yeah. It would have been one of those games that potentially years later, YouTube YouTubers would have been like, oh yeah. man, here's a hidden gem on the GBA. You know, it's unique enough, but also feels familiar enough as it's sort of a hodgepodge of other games like Bionic Commando, Mega Man, et cetera, et cetera. A little yeah. bit of the Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure, like that title, yeah. I get a yeah. little bit of that sense in here. It's the, kind of a hodgepodge. Um, done right but yeah overall pretty solid let's yeah. go ahead and move on to the next one which is gasp <laughs> another simple puzzler <laughs> another so simple it's a, puzzler. it is clax adjacent so we're technically re-recording this we lost a little bit of footage uh but the default settings are a little too easy yeah i think we should uh bump up the number of colors to maybe like six yep that's Le as high as we can go oh okay leave the speed normal i think that's fine okay 
So it's uh, stack three, and then they get deleted. You've only got four columns. We have six colors. Oh, like, oh, wait a minute here. Oh, oh, just drop it there because you're going to be able to do a green. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right, now drop that. Oh, yeah, right there. And then you'll... No. Oh, that isn't how it works. Okay. It has to be three vertically. So let's see if we could do the across. Okay. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, okay, there. All right, so it does have to be in a row. I want to see what happens when you die. Well, when you die in the game, you die in real life. It gives me two tries. Yeah, I Did saw that. That? That, is, that is very forgiving for it. So, thoughts on Gasp? It's a good proof of concept. Could could do with um, some some complexity. Yeah. I think it's its pitfall is that it is another simple puzzle. <laughs> it does um, everything that it tries to do well. It's just yeah. it's not interesting enough to play for more than yeah. a couple minutes. Yeah, it, it would have been great as one of those, like, you know, those little kids multi-pack games. Yeah. It would have been fine to throw in there. Sure. You know. And that's kind of functionally what it is. Yeah. So next up, we have Gun Kid. It's very pastel. Yeah. Which... Very gun, very kid. <laughs> exactly. I wonder if they made it like this because I know a lot of the, you know, GBA games were kind of overly bright to compensate for the crappy screen. So, I mean, this is sort of a perfectly fine run and gun. Um, the graphics, like we said, they're very bright and pastel, which is perfectly okay. It plays good. There doesn't seem to be much of a, a catch to it. Yeah. There isn't like much of a shtick here. It kind of vaguely reminds me of Commander Keen. Yeah, a little bit. Forcing you to shoot everything twice. Slows down everything. Oh, there it is, okay. You have to be at the exact right spot. I say that overall the aesthetic is growing on me, but the sense of momentum is a little bit off and it doesn't have yeah. uh, a specific shtick that it does particularly well. Yeah, uh, it's just not hooking me. Yeah, it's, it's an okay game. It just needs a little bit more. Naval battle. Oh, <laughs> it was like photorealistic stock photo. Uh, <laughs> All right then. It looks like I'm playing uh, a game that's in a Skechers ad. Yes. Like, this is the game the kids are playing inside of a Skechers ad. So this is just Battleship. Uh, is pro oh, 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 my God. I think you may have found their aircraft carrier. I was hoping for something a little bit more <laughs> climactic. Yeah, I, I do like how it has a two player so you can kind of like hand it back and forth. Yeah, like, it's like you and your sibling in the back on a road trip. Yeah, that would yeah. make a lot of sense. I like these menus, but I do think that ultimately it is just it is a portable battleship. battleship. All right, moving on to Panzer Panic. Okay, I'm liking the vectors. This is, this is really leaning into like a a mood. Yes. I'm liking the aesthetic. It's like a hover tank clone. Yep. Something's firing at me. How yeah. do I fire? There we go. Yeah, there you go. Shoot that bitch. I can only shoot every so often. <laughs> Same with that. Oh, you. So maybe if I can hide behind something. You know, the frame rate on it's actually really solid. That's yeah. really impressive. For, ooh, ooh. Oh, so it's just about Dead getting the, center. Yeah, it's just about getting the right shot, not multiple shots. Yeah. Oh, it's hitting me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What? So I'm, I'm just, it's confusing exactly how you're supposed to kill these. Sometimes it just like, it's like butter. Like, it seems like anytime we get too close, it doesn't work for some reason. The mood, killer, absolutely love it. Vector-based stuff, love it. The gameplay is strange and doesn't, in my mind, yeah. merit multiple playthroughs. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's a, a little too close to old hover tank. Oh, Simon. Sana Chu too. Well, Simon Chu too. Ready for the, the dimensional merge. 
The art is actually way better than Sonic. <laughs> I actually do like the art here. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, they, they could have worked on the bird. <laughs> Just look at him. Also, this guy. What's going on? What is that? <laughs> Oh, I needed to know the deep lore. I do like how there's background stuff, there's foreground stuff. Yeah, yeah. These enemies are a bit tall, and the jump is a bit strange. Uh, not too strange, there's a little bit of hang time that you kind of have to get used to. I'm going to send out all the monsters to become a hero. I think he means like get rid of, like send away, send out. Maybe? Possibly. I'm searching for the for the responsible of this too. I think this might be an example of English as a second language. Yes. So now I kind of feel bad, like insulting it. I'm sure this person is probably like perfectly fluent now. Aren't you a bit child for this subject? <laughs> okay, I actually kind of love this. Yeah. I, I'm not a child. I'm very brave. Hmm. Okay, let's go. So this is the start of a good mechanic here. Look at him. Look at him. He has a little animation. Yeah. Aww. He's a wiggling away. He's a wiggle boy. Are those, are those uh, moobs? Are those arms? <laughs> it's, uh, Could be either. Yeah, uh, you know, we only uh, top men. We're going to have to put top men on that. we got to dedicate our most powerful scientific resources to figuring out if Simon Chu has moobs. <laughs> our boy is going to get wild. Okay. Oh my god, it moves so stupid. Look at how it moves. Oh, you can punch them now. The design. Oi, oi, <laughs> the design. Oi, oi. <laughs> the design. Look at how uh, complex their designs are versus me. I know, they're complex, but they're like also like insane. Like, I, was it like the guy's like little brother doing like the hamster bot and the bird? I don't know. I, if that is, that's amazing. I, I love the weird clash here. I'm enjoying this too much, and not just because I can make Sonichu references. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, that's the Simon Chu. R.I.P. <laughs> well, I could still be alive. <laughs> this many years later? <laughs> 18 years later, yeah. Simon Chu 2. Decent game. Yeah, it's a um, decent game. Yeah, I love that um, everybody has hotmail emails. Uh, it's pretty good. All right, Snack Man. This is a Pac Man clone. So here's a little bit of a hook. This is sort of like a multi part maze here. Yeah, so you yeah, can so actually, it's, like. It's playing a little bit with the formula. Yeah. It's a, it's a touch different. Nothing uh, crazy. Yeah. It also gives you a timer, a countdown, for how long your power pill lasts. Yeah, that's very nice to know. Uh, instead of just like weird muscle memory, we yeah, can't all be Billy Mitchell. Well, I mean, if you lie and cheat and threaten to sue everyone, you can be. Yeah, so I mean, this is a pretty solid Pac-Man clone. It's fun. Um, it's not as frantic as traditional Pac-Man. It's pretty good. I think I think it's a nice uh, spin on it. Space Gems. Oh, so you, you move them. Oh. oh, okay. So this is like a stacker. So, oh, oh, oh. I like the animation of your little character machine spitting it back out. The little sort of like spring. Almost sort of like a pinball release yeah, yeah, spring. Yeah, yeah. Presentation wise, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like the design, I like the music. I think it is more complicated than what we experienced before in terms of puzzle stuff on this particular cart. I, I think this one's a winner, honestly. And you're a winner too. Oh. We got two more games. Swish it. Swish it. Score 190 points to unlock medium mode. Oh, wait. Okay, so each one of these <laughs> oh. is a different button on that. <laughs> okay, so you have to get used to which one it is. <laughs> As 
It's like just remembering the pattern of actually what button you're supposed to be pressing. Level two. Oh boy. How the hell did I make it to level two? Now what would be really interesting is if these buttons that you have to press on each character changed. <laughs> so you'd have to <laughs> like hand eye constantly seeing what's changing, like all that stuff. That would be pretty rough. It reminds me of like a, just like a Mario Party mini game, basically. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of. Oh, it's getting further away too. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, so you have to time it differently too because it's so far away. You got a high. How the hell did I get a high score? Good job. You got a high score. My name is Ass. Oh, bonus rounds locked. Well. Thoughts? It, it's a it's a neat little idea for like a mini game and a party game. Yes, I feel like if there were like five or six of these types of games built into this, and yeah, I feel yeah. like it's a little bit too simplistic. Yeah, it's time to play the one that is definitely going to get us that little yellow <laughs> mark. Yuck foo. Yeah, where we keep saying yuck foo, and Google's going to be like, no, 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 no. All right, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this right out of the This is a gravity-based physics okay. title. You have to land your little guy without touching the walls. Or, like, you have to touch that thing without touching anything else. <laughs> there is no down. There's just You're a just, lack of up. Yeah, yeah. so this kind of reminds me of the physics of Subterranea on yeah. Genesis, where the gravity is constantly pulling you down, and it just, like, makes you cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is just a, it's a little bit slippery, and I think the developer is using that to their advantage <laughs> yeah. to make it abnormally difficult. It is, it is a intentionally frustrating game. Pressing anything too much will send you flying off in a different direction. Whoa. See what I mean? Like yeah. you just like you just shoot yeah. off so far. So that is the 2004 megabit competition or the 2004 megabit competition, whichever uh, you prefer to call it based on how it's written here. I'm not quite sure, but it There's is a... going to be somebody who's going to say, actually, I think it's 2004 megabyte. Oh, God. Somebody in the comments is going to say ah, that. <laughs> you know uh, it's going to happen. But yeah. that said, it is a beautiful little time capsule of a very different time when it was near impossible or at least very unlikely to get GBA cartridges printed with a ton of homebrew content on them for a system that was current and still being yeah. sold at market like all of the it's kind of mind blowing nintendo probably would have lost their shit uh finding out like who was even like manufacturing these yeah cards. like it, it's like it's wild. nowadays they don't really care yeah for G but, like old stuff like this yeah yeah but, like you, you go back and you look at like uh how they've cracked down on flash cards like in japan like mm -hmm. the r4 for ds yeah really hurt the ds yeah and i do think that back in the day you know just having these games function and be playable was much more of a novelty and so i think some of the games with with less going on for them were probably still more awe inspiring than or were yeah. more awe inspiring than they would be now yeah. for us from a current gamer's lens yeah. you know some of the games on here are a little bit too simplistic uh, a little bit too yeah. copycat to really be that interesting but there are definitely still yeah. some gems on here that are very enjoyable there there's a few things where they they might lack a little bit of originality but you it definitely took a lot of skill yeah especially given like uh, you probably had a restricted time frame to make these yeah you just amateurs making this not for profit it's impressive that they did it like all of these are impressive achievements yeah they definitely are and that some of them are actually pretty fun is a really really big achievement overall yeah, good. very good stuff so uh you can you know there isn't a high demand for this yeah I, last time i checked on ebay this video either <laughs> yeah we're not gonna get too many views yeah uh but yeah 
uh, last time I checked was a couple of years back. It was only going for like 10 bucks on eBay. But even if you don't want to buy a physical copy of it, you can download the ROMs pretty easily still nowadays. Yeah. And they enjoy weren't doing yourself. it for profit back okay. then. So you, yeah, you're yeah. not really stealing anything. Exactly. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the games. Check out GBADev.com. Org. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you all next time. Cheers.